Happy Monday! So here we are, episode one, right, of our online learning. So we're, today we're going to talk about our um, focus on calculations with decimals for multiplication and division, and then whole number division. So I hope you guys had a good day, first day, and I'm going to flip my camera. So you'll notice that the first thing that I did was I rewrote it so that this is kind of, remember, that first number is what goes under the bar. It's 7 tenths divided by 35 hundredths. If you remember, we talked about this before, we're taking a look at the second number, the part that's outside the bar. There are two decimal places, so I'm going to move this to, which means I have to move what's under the bar two places. So I'm going to rewrite that. Okay, so I rewrote it because it was easier for me to see. I like it. It's prettier. Um, and so we're going to do our estimate. Remember, just like we talked about in class. So I'm going to take a look. And I, if I'm looking, what's something that's going to make more sense to me is if I'm taking a look and I look at 35, I'm going to use 30. And if I know that 30 two times is equal to 60, and I know 5 times 2, that's ugly 5, is equal to 10, well, Five, 60 plus 10 is actually 70. So that tells me it's probably about two groups. Just a quick reminder, when we're talking division, we use our divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So we're going to follow that same format. So I'm going to take 70 and I'm dividing that into groups of 35. So I already knew from my estimate, I'm guessing two. So I'm going to kind of use that idea. Okay, so just to help us with some of our work to show you, I put my two up here because I said two, but this is basically what I'm doing. And for me, it's easier for me to see if I kind of do my work off to the side. So two times five, remember this number is going to go towards everything. So two times five is 10. I carry my one. Two times three is six plus one is seven. And uh, we were correct, right? So we have our 70. So we're going to put that here. And then we subtract and we have nothing left. So that means that our final answer is two. Okay, so moving on to our multiplication. If you notice, I rewrote my problem. And notice, remember I've told you this before, I'm kind of lazy, so I'd rather do less work. So seeing that there's only two numbers here means I'll only have two rows here. When there are four numbers here, I would have to have four numbers if this was on the bottom. So remember, we use the commutative, which means we can go in any order. So before we do this, we're just going to do a quick estimate, right? 4.4 .4 is closest to, I hope you got it, is closest to 4. And I'm going to round 2, and 727 thousandths is closer to making this closer to 3, right? So 4 times 3. So my final answer should be somewhere around 12. So let's take a look. Right? So I'm always going to start on the right, and I'm going to do this number times each of these. Remember, this is kind of what's hardest about multiplication. So 4 times 7 is 28, and I'm still multiplying, so I'm going to carry my 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Carry my 1. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 1 is 29. Carry my 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Now I move to my next row, and I have to repeat the same thing. But remember, because we moved over to the tens, I have to put a zero before I start. I know you guys remembered that. Now notice that this is a four, so I know I'm going to have this same amount again. So basically, I'm doing the same things, and I'm going to carry. So I'm just going to kind of copy the same thing over, right? Because that would be the same. And then I add. So then I'm just going to go down on the right. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 0 plus 8 is 8. 9 plus 0 is 9. 0 plus 9 is 9. 1 plus 0 is 1. And one plus, well, this is just my 1 I bring down. Here's where it gets tricky, right? Now we need to go back to how many decimal places. So I notice I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember, that's what's after the decimal. So I'm going to move my decimal over four places. So my final answer should be 11 and 9,988 thousandths or 10 thousandths, however you want to decide that. How'd you do? Notice also that this is so close to 12. So our answer does make sense. Okay. 
So when we go over here, we have this one is 870 divided by 58. So we're dividing it into groups. Remember, let's put it at the top again. Our divide, multiply, subtract, bring down to remind us of our rules, right? If I'm taking a good idea and I make an estimate, 58 is close to 60. And remember, 870. So I'm going to just a little different. 60, if I do 10 groups, I would have 600, right? We know that because anything times 10 is that number, and then it has a zero after it. And I'm looking at 870, which is pretty close to 900 if I was rounding, right? So I'd have this. Well, if I know that 10 groups of 60 is 600, if I take only, let me see that, it's hard to tell because of light. If I only take five groups, I'd have half of 600, so it'd be 300. So if I do 600 plus 300, I'm writing as I'm talking. That's going to give me 900. That's going to be close. So my estimate is going to be around 15, right? I had my 10 groups, plus I had another five. So let's find out. Okay, so if I go 58, obviously, and remember, division's that weird ball. I have to start on the left. So if I have eight items, I cannot make a group of 58. But remember, we're older. We do not put a zero up here. So we just move over. If I have 87 items, I can probably only make one group of 58. So I'm going to do 58 times 1. Well, anything times 1 is the, the same thing you started with, right? So then I'm going to subtract. Once I subtract, I'm going to start on the right. If I have 7, I cannot take 8 away. And remember, don't you dare turn that into 8 minus 7 because it's totally different, right? So that means I have to regroup or borrow. So I'm going to go next door. I take my 1 away, which is a 10. And I'm going to put that there. 17 minus 8 is 9. 7 minus 5 is 2. So 29 is smaller than 58. So yes, I know I did the right number. Because remember, if this is bigger, it means I can make another group. Now I'm going to bring this down. Woo, 290. Well, let's think about this. 50 goes into 100 two times. And I have two hundreds here. So that would be already about four times. Plus, I would have another 90. So I could do it one more time. So I'm going to do this off to the side so I don't kind of make a mess and have to keep rethinking. So I rewrote my problem down here to see what would 5 be. So 5 times 8 is 40. I carry my 4. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 4 is 29 and look at how great that is. That's an exact amount. So it'd be five. So we just did it down there. So I have 290 and then I subtract. So I get 15 and look at that. It's right about my estimate. So today these problems were a little nicer. I hope you did well and I'll see you tomorrow.